Semper Fi, everyone, and welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian Chuck Lynch. On today's episode, I'll discuss the M1967 Modernized Load Carrying Equipment, better known as the MLCE, which was introduced into U.S. military service in 1968 during the Vietnam War. The M1967 MLCE was not specifically designed to replace the earlier canvas and cotton duct M1956 LCE, but it was designed for use in tropical environments. Although the Marine Corps entered the Vietnam War primarily issuing variants of the M1941 PAC system, Marines also often incorporated parts from the Army's M1956 LCE until the development of the Marine Corps M1961 improvements came into combined use in combat loadouts. Deficiencies with the LCE were immediately realized once fielded into the tropical climates of Vietnam. Canvas, cotton duck, and webbing, even when treated to prevent mildew, is still affected by it, along with dry rot due to con constant wetting and drying. These materials also absorbed a great deal of water, adding to its weight with slow drying capabilities, and it withstood abrasion poorly. As with just about everything issued in Vietnam by the Marine Corps, from boots to field dressings to ammunition packaging, the design of load carrying equipment was also changed in an effort to provide lightweight individual equipment that could better withstand the rigors of a tropical environment. Nylon duck and webbing proved to be lightweight, unaffected by mildew, fast drying as it absorbed little water, and resisted abrasion well. The material did have limitations though, it was shiny when new, being somewhat stiff, it made a rustling noise against vegetation, and it melted when exposed to high heat. The M1967 MLCE, initially termed Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment, or LLCE, was developed specifically for use in Southeast Asia. The gears issue began in 1968, but never fully replaced the LCE, nor was it issued in complete sets. The MLCE consisted essentially of the same items of similar design as the LCE, but substituted nylon for cotton, and aluminum and plastic for steel and brass hardware where possible. Nylon's lightweight and durable qualities led the U.S. military to consider the MLCE for Army-wide adoption. A study was undertaken in the early 1970s to identify any shortcomings and to propose improvements for a new load-carrying equipment system to replace the LCE and MLCE. The M1967 MLCE consisted of the following components. Individual equipment belt, available in both medium and large sizes, entrenching tool carrier, sleeping equipment carrier, field first aid dressing or unmounted magnetic compass case, small arms ammunition case, water canteen cover, field pack, and the individual equipment belt suspenders. The following equipment items were also issued alongside the M1967 MLCE. The collapsible two-quart water canteen cover, tropical rucksack, and 40 millimeter ammunition carrying vest. In 1969, a new version of the small arms ammunition case was introduced for use with the 30 round cartridge magazine for the M16A1 5.56 millimeter rifle. All component items that utilize snap fasteners for closure have plastic snaps. After 1969, these were replaced with metal versions. As with the Marine Corps M1941 pack system and the U.S. Army's M1956 LCE, the M1967 MLCE continued to serve Marines to some degree until being replaced by the all-purpose lightweight individual carrying equipment, also known as ALICE. As the motto state, improvise, adapt, overcome, and make do with less. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack. Perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't hesitate to tell a friend or family member or email me directly to recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. And until next time, Semper Fi and carry on.